Um, there's a question about the, um, I think it relates to the, the uh, revival scene. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you about that too. I mean, um, as you point out, that scene becomes the entry point into the final, beautiful final movement of the story. Maybe the final chorus, as we should say. Yes. It's a yes. jazz story. Yes. Um, and, you know, um, there are spirituals being sung and, you know, spirituals in Baldwin, you know, all the titles that he draws from spirituals, Go Tell on the Mountain, Just Above My Head, all those. So, I mean, I, I wanted to hear you talk a little bit more about what the spirituals meant to Baldwin and how they relate to his work. But, but also there's a more specific question from Antoine Mitchell. He says, what do you think, what do you think Sonny's notebook was? Remember Sonny <laughs> comes in, Sonny comes in from that scene carrying his notebook or his brother spots him. A journal for his thoughts, musical notes, what do you think? Yeah, um, so, you know, I don't know. I, I change when I read it. I, you know, I, I'm struck by Sonny's discipline as a musician. Um, and, you know, especially when he's first becoming a musician, he's listening to those chords over and over again. And so I thought, you know, it could be ideas, it could be musical ideas, it could be transcriptions. Um, I think about the jazz musicians, the instrumentalists, who say they learn so much from Black women vocalists. Um, they learn phrasing from Black women's vo vocalists. They learn um, where to leave space. They learn um, what kind of emotion to imbue something with. Miles Davis says that he was always trying to capture the sound that he heard of a woman singing in an old country church, you know, um, that, that and, and if you if you listen to Miles with that in mind, you can actually hear it. It's it's like he's aspiring to get there. Um, so I think of, of Sonny as doing that as well. I think that um, for Baldwin, um, you know, he grew up hearing those spirituals and hearing those hymns. They were his songs in the night, um, you know, songs that were given to get us through. Um, he also knew that it wasn't, sometimes it was the, the language of the spirituals that really moved him, right, just above my head. Um, sometimes it was the language, but more often than not, it was the sound and his interpretation of that sound, um, which, you know, I think he, he really did believe that in the music, um, the aspirations, the struggles, the difficulties in the sound um, are all there and that those spirituals are even pre-blues as the kind of basics that one could go back to them and find the stuff of art and find the stuff that have gotten the people through. <laughs>